habitual line crosser here. You may notice I've had a little change of scenery. Well, today I'm at the Army Blockhouse. Built in the late 1940s in support of the Army's V-2 missile program, the blockhouse boasts 10 feet of reinforced concrete on the walls and 27 feet on the ceiling. At the end of World War II, 200 tram cars full of German missile technology was shipped here to White Sands Proving Grounds. With the help of captured German scientists from Operation Paperclip, the military started its rocket and missile program right here at Army Launch Area 1. The first actual V-2 launch from inside the blockhouse went 10 miles straight up. A lot of the scientists went outside because they wanted to see it, and then it came straight back down as they all scrambled inside. After that, they posted MPs at the doors to keep everyone from going outside. Such attention to detail was paid when restoring the blockhouse. You'll see the launch sequence here. You see the clock here showing 315, both of which are recreated here. During a V-2 test launch, the gyroscope, located here in the control section of the V-2, was put in backwards, so instead of going north like it was designed to, it went south and landed in a cemetery outside of Juarez, Mexico. Other firsts from the American V-2 missile program include the first man-made craft to cross the Kármán line, 100 kilometers up, the first photographs from space, and the first film showing the curvature of the Earth. This is the gantry crane. Consider it like a rough draft for the towers you see launching SpaceX and the Apollo missions. When they were getting ready to launch a V-2, they would set it up out here, use the gantry crane so that people could access different areas and do all their checks, then use these rails and these giant electric motors to roll the gantry crane out of the way and start the launch sequence. Big thank you to Wismer Museum for getting me the information out here, White Sands PAO for escorting me out here to make this video, and of course, White Sands Environmental for keeping these historical sites preserved.